Hi, I'm Lori, an artist and usually a painter of vibrant coastal scenes. This is a painting I created for my oldest sister for her 50th birthday this year. I thought I would take this opportunity to share some things about myself that you wouldn't know. Let me know in the comments if you can relate to any part of my story. First, I was almost born in a Volkswagen Bug. Specifically, this one that I'm painting. It belonged to my grandmother on my mother's side. Thankfully, my mom ended up making it to the hospital to have me, but it was a close call, so I'm told. It's a good thing we made it because there was a complication and the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck. Being in the hospital with the doctors and equipment aided in my being rescued from that situation. And thankfully, I was born healthy. I grew up on a hobby farm in a northern town that averaged minus 25 degrees Celsius in the winter. I hated snow, and we had to endure it for a good nine months of the year. When I was six, my mom took us to church for the first time, and that is when I learned about Jesus and became a Christian. I am so glad I met him when I was young. My faith in the Lord has gotten me through and out of a lot of hard times. I loved doing art, even as a child. We didn't have extra money or art supplies, so I would make my own. I created 3D landscapes inside little earring boxes that I found. I would make bunny rabbit scenes with buds from pussy willows and decorate it with bits of grass and tiny wildflowers. I was always the first to ask for a Christmas tree when I was a kid so I could help to decorate. Carving pumpkins at Halloween looked like so much fun, but we didn't always buy pumpkins to carve, so I carved an orange instead. I actually preferred the tiny version of a pumpkin because I have always been drawn to miniature things. I always wanted to build a gingerbread house, but I didn't have the ingredients for that, so I decided to use graham crackers and make mini ones. These ideas came to me far before Pinterest was a thing. I didn't mind not having art supplies because it taught me to use ingenuity to be creative. My first painting was a really awful muddy rendition of Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street when I was nine. It turned out so badly, it shook my dream that I would someday be an artist, and it prevented me from trying painting again for many years. And here's something you might not guess. I didn't start painting until about seven years ago, when I was 41. But when I did it, it didn't take me long to figure it out. I guess it was in me after all. When I was young, and looked to the future version of myself, I always pictured that one day I would be a little old lady painting in a field, this year, just in the last few months, I have begun to do some plein air painting, so I still have time to figure that out too. I have two older sisters, and we loved visiting my grandma and riding around in her Volkswagen bug, even though there were three of us, plus my mom and my grandma, and it was a four-seater. I was the smallest and youngest, so I found a spot behind the back seats to perch. Those were the days before mandatory seat belts, and it seemed like a neat adventure. That reminds me of another time I actually fell out of a moving car because my two sisters and I squeezed into the front seat that we were fighting over. My mom, not knowing the door wasn't properly shut, drove around a corner and I fell out onto the street. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt at all, but it was a busy intersection and my mom was really shaken up. My sisters and I were only one year and one month apart each and born in April, May, and June from oldest to youngest, each consecutive year. When it turned out that way, my mom said she should have named us our birth months, so my name would have been June. That would have been a lot easier to say. I was quite shy to say my name when I was little because I found ours hard to pronounce. Adults would think it was cute and laugh, but it made me sad because I wasn't trying to be funny. My sisters were my best friends right up into high school, and we've enjoyed being close in age. All of our kids were born close in age as well, and when they all get together, they seem a lot more like siblings than cousins, which we love. A very sad thing is my middle sister passed away from cancer 11 years ago, and we all miss her dearly. This image sums up how close we were growing up, and I'm grateful for the time we had. Thanks for listening to my story, and now here's my question to you. What did my story make you remember about your childhood? Let me know in the comments. Our lives are really pretty interesting, and I'd love to hear about yours. See you next time!